This is the Galaxy S8. It is the smaller variant, although I guess small is relative here because this is a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED Quad HD Plus display. And I've heard that the display is super duper sharp and the best it's display people sharp. have seen. Okay, first of all, you guys, look at this infinity wallpaper. Can you see this? So, yeah. Product shots. Let's yeah. do this. Wait. Yeah. Right over here. I forgot. Little I was here. Sorry, guys. We switched uh, product shots today. Um, look at this infinity so wallpaper. So when you tilt, okay? it kind so of... when you tilt... You fly through space, kind yeah, of. Yeah, do you see so that? So is it? Oh, okay. Is that just like? Is that just like the old Amazon Fire Phone wallpaper thing? Like the the, 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 the perspective. Parallax I, don't, I actually don't remember. I never used the Fire Phone. Well, actually. it was the parallax effect, so that if you were staring at it oh. and you moved, it actually simulated kind of a three dimensional right thing based on your perspective yeah. of it. So, um, sure. biometrics sure like are yeah, it looks similar. Are finicky. Finicky is all, so I'm gonna try and fingerprint this. There we go. Surprise! That worked very quickly on camera, thankfully. Does it uh, not normally? Now look at look at the infinity display, though. Can you see that the wallpaper is how still? Just, how it just drifts off the side. I of the love display. that it does that. And actually, any wallpaper that you put on here, you can add that effect to. So even if you put like a just really gnarly one, you could have that little effect going on. The, which those is nice. little dots of that. No, dot not the little effect, dots, or? but just a little movement effect of it like Oh moving kind of up shifting. And, yeah, the yeah, parallax. I, I, okay. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you know, it adds a little bit of um whatever oomph. Um let's see. Otherwise design. So this is midnight black. As you know, there are two other colors. Uh I've already got a couple scratches on it, unfortunately. <gasps> Lots of fingerprints. If you're gonna get this phone there's going to be a lot of, you're going to be cleaning it a lot. Yeah, and yeah, part of that it. issue is that when you're cleaning a phone that much and the fingerprint sensor's on the back and just kind of flushly embedded in there, you see it's just flat. So <laughs> when I reach into my pocket, let's say, or my bag to grab it, I'm, you know. Yeah. And then you try to scan it in and maybe it doesn't work as quickly. Thankfully, it's working nicely on camera today. Okay, okay. fingerprint sensor up in the corner on the back. Up that's been a major, that's been a pretty consistent quibble of people uh, who are reviewing. Huge quibble. Would you huge agree? Quibble. And my, uh, my colleagues at Android Central agree. Hmm. However, out of, however, anyway. Uh, yeah, they agree. I was trying to make a ratio joke, but that flew over my head. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I ratio was, jokes. I was thinking about it in they my never head get old. and trying to make it come out and it didn't work. <laughs> anyway. Um, Ratio jokes are, are my favorite jokes. <laughs> so that's the design. It's pretty. There's corners. There's cornered uh, edges on the screen. So it looks kind of like there's a, I don't know, a photo frame is what I likened it to. Mm -hmm. You know, um, these little squirrels, 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 squirrels motif is applied to all the Samsung apps. Uh, however, there is an option in the settings that you don't have to have it on your third party apps. So you don't have to deal with it too much if you don't want to. Otherwise it's applied to all Otherwise apps. it's applied to all apps. But as you can see, oh, okay. I disabled it in yeah. the app, in the settings panel. So that's the design, a little bit of the interface. Interface is a lot smoother and simplified and I would even say more navigable than it used to be. Yeah, I so saw in a lot of reviews, people saying that like, don't, you know, I think even the review for one of the posts on The Verge said like, don't, yeah, I read you know, don't, don't be anti-touch whiz right now because Samsung's really done a great job with their yeah. UI. Yeah, and uh, speaking of the UI, so this little button down here is a haptic home button and it shows up on the lock screen and you can press it down and when you press it down, you feel a little vibration to kind of let you know that it worked and then it's supposed to scan my face. But I've just been having, I've been having a lot of inconsistencies with the facial, with the face biometrics. I didn't set up the iris scanning, but I know from the Note 7, it worked fine on me. I know other people doesn't work very well. Usually people who wear glasses or contacts. Can you have those all run, all selected and running? You cannot have all those selected at the same time. So actually, no, let me show that. you that would be really on nice. the camera. When you go into the settings panel and you go into lock screen and security, it will tell you that you can only have either the facial recognition or fingerprint scanner, or uh, excuse me, face recognition or iris scanner on. So you can't have both at the same time. Combine those and you've got a, yeah. a solid security. So face uh, rec recognition method. uses the camera. Right. And the iris scanner uses the built-in IR 
blaster, which lives up here next to the camera. So I, there's some talk because it's like two different hardware or whatever. That's why it's not. Oh, I bet you they figured that out. Yeah. Because the more you can combine these biometric methods, the more secure I agree. these. Because I mean, face recognition in and of itself, we've seen they can be tricked with a picture. I tried that, by the way. It didn't work. Didn't work for didn't you? Didn't work. Okay. And I am going to, I'm going to, I'm going to the salon this weekend uh, and they have those mannequin heads and I kind of want to try it out on those mannequin heads. You know, the ones that they use in beauty school to like practice hair. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I've been wanting to try and see if it can like tell a faux person's face. Oh, wait a minute. Do you know what I mean? Wait, no, I don't. Like a mannequin head. <laughs> A so, head so, it, hair. so the <laughs> this is such an Jeez, interesting like test. I have to understand. So, the the phone is is trained for your face and seeing if the mannequin face will unlock no, it. No, I'm curious if I can register and unlock it with a mannequin face. That's oh. my so oh, curiosity. You're gonna, no, up, yeah. you're gonna set up a phone with the with the creepy fake mannequin yeah. face. Is the mannequin face gonna have yeah, all like the that. makeup like, applied to it? Mm. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm wow. curious to see if that works. I gotta. Yeah. I gotta make sure it shows up the salon this weekend. So, um, but regardless, that is one of my tests that I that I want to try before I have to let go of this review unit. Um, other things, <laughs> oh, it's so so close. Oh my god, it is Ryan. Kinda, actually. We both have brown eyes, and that's, <laughs> there's there's that's some similarities there. Yeah. I, don't know if I, I mean, the, the, the part <laughs> the part and the hair is the same. Sorry, right, back to back to the galaxy. Anyways, anyways. By, anyways. by the way, that that photo was Flo S seven or Flo Flo seven as we called her. Flo S seven. Flo S seven, and we've model. upgraded to Flo Flo eight. So right. here you go. Yeah. Uh, so this little guy is also VR capable. But unfortunately, I don't have a Gear VR to show off on the show today, like I had hoped. However, there is the okay. new and improved Game Launcher. Now, the Game Launcher kind of looks the same as last year's, but In the, the Note Seven, right? On, as um, the Game Launcher actually came originally on the S Seven. Oh, was it on when the it was S7? introduced? Okay. And I like the Game Launcher because I like to record my gameplay for Pokemon the Card Game Online. Because as you know, I. It's you're the obsessed. only thing I'm the most competitive competitive about in life. But yeah, when you're inside a game, you just kind of uh, start it up. And instead of the little chat window that used to exist, it's not morning. Instead of the little chat uh, window that used to exist, now it's just a tiny little button that lives. You can lock the screen. You can increase the, the resolution since this is a 18.5 by 9 ratio certainly hope I hmm. said that correctly. So 18.5 by nine. So it's taller yeah. to, you know, make up for all that screen that it's got there. And when you're playing a game that doesn't fit in with this screen, you'll see black bars on, on the top and bottom to kind of oh. like fit it in as, as it normally would on a 16 by nine smartphone. Yeah, that display looks really nice. Um, I, I can't help but notice that for a Samsung phone, I'm not used to seeing this order. Oh yeah, I changed it around. You, so you can, you can change, change the navigation, the navigation buttons. buttons around. Finally, thank if you, you want. Samsung. Finally. So they always had that back button on the opposite side and it's just it comes like, like that why by do default. you stay it like that? It comes like that by default, by the way. So you will have to change yeah. it as soon as you take it out of the box. Um, other sort of things of note is actually some software features that came over from the Note. Very minor little things, but the Smart Select which is just a great cropping tool. You can uh, use it to pin windows to the top. You can, you, you know, say you're working on two things at once or something of the sort. You can use it to crop out parts of the screen, or of course you can make your animated GIF like you could on the Note 7 out of a YouTube video, which is really, really uh, helpful. Cool. Uh, as far as one-handed usage goes, I thought that this model was the easiest one to use one-handed, but it's still a little hard with the tall display to sort of like reach up mm -hmm. if you have smaller hands mm -hmm. and do that. And, you know, if the fingerprint sensor was always responsive, well, it would make this easier, as you can see. Now, what are you trying to do? Because it's already unlocked. Are you trying to like swipe down? I'm swiping the... down the Got uh, navigation. Got it. Uh, the notification shade. And the fingerprint sensor doesn't have a click to it, right? Like no, it's, no it's just you tap just to it. The only like actual flash. tap that you ever feel is that home button, which 
is underneath the display, but you feel the kick when you push on Every it. Every time. I'm, yeah, I'm, I thought that felt really nice. phone is making little vibrations. And actually, you can adjust the sensitivity of that in the settings as you like. So if you want it to be more intense, it can be. And it's pressure sensitive. You actually have to push down yep. hard. It's not just tapping the screen. Yep. There's a button underneath there. Yep. Yeah, I like that. There is a one-handed mode. If uh, you want to use that multi-windows enabled, it comes with a couple of extra little features. So... For instance, you can make a little pop-out window, and then I can just oh, play a little game, game over there. Well, while you I look at all those settings and decide well, on them. The settings. You can continue playing the I game. I can, you know, I can go on this screen and I can look at my. I could look at my. Well, I was going to show you that there is a video enhancer mode. Yeah. I thought okay. that would be relevant considering I had a game in a <laughs> this pop-up window. HDR support, right? Yes. High dynamic range yes. uh, video support. But currently, you can only view, I mean, only Netflix. Right, yeah. The sources are limited content. at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the phone, it's still, it's 5.8 inches. So, right. Or 7. Yeah, but HDR, you could see a lot more on these smaller screens than you could 4K. Sorry. You know what I mean? 4K, more resolution on a smaller screen device, not as important. But HDR, you're going to see that pop. Inside, Snapdragon 835, the first phone on the market with the processor, 10 nanometer chip, mm -hmm. tiny little chip, supposed to be very energy efficient. Uh, I can tell you I've only had this phone for six days, so I, I'm not 100% about battery life, but I can tell you that when this screen is on, it uses a lot of battery life. Yeah. So I was watching the battery just fall as I was using it for navigation the other day. It was like an infinity display for your battery life just trickling off the edge. That That's a good beautiful. idea, actually. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> uh, you the might notice battery. that I don't have a little Bixby launcher, but that's because I had it so that it pops up when I press the button. The so, Bixby. Bixby. So this is Bixby. What do you think? Uh, oh, look at this. Nearby places. We can go to Lagunitas, Lagunitas after <gasps> this. There's a picture I took at my oh, house gosh. yesterday. Lagunitas isn't open on Tuesdays. So, oh, really? Otherwise, yes, I would be there every so single this was Tuesday after in? the show. So this is relevant. This was pulled in from Foursquare. Oh, okay. Do I have Foursquare installed? I actually don't know if I have Foursquare installed. Um, maybe I do. It pulled in some playlists from my Spotify playlist. It pulled in my Google Calendar. I have a concert calendar. I'm not actually going to concerts. Um, it pulls in, it has a, its own separate like reminders feature. Most visited web pages from the Samsung browser app, not Chrome, unfortunately. Twitter. Uh, you can customize these as you want. So Facebook, you can say if you want to pin it. I don't know so much about the content customization yet. I don't know if that's coming, if that's really something that's going to happen or what. Do, but you find, do you find yourself turning to Bixby for things? Absolutely not. Okay. But again, I've but only had the phone of, for six days. Yeah, right. I wonder if it's the kind of thing yes. that you kind of have to force yourself to use for a little while and then it makes sense. And it's also missing a ma very major feature. Which, which is, is the, the actual assistant feature. But yeah. look, I can show you the Bixby Vision which is the camera portion. So maybe you want to go to- <laughs> I'm like, where is a product? I got a product right here. Oh, you do? I got kombucha. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Let's All see right. if I can do this. Oh, this is per- I hope you guys can see this angle. Yep, okay. so it's doing the little- All right, so it just- It's recognizing the label. Recognize it, so what I can do- It thinks it's wine. That's cute. Kind of looks like it could be wine. It thinks but... it's wine. That's cute. Um, Let's see, shopping. Let's see where I can buy kombucha on the internet. So it's no pr matching no, products not found. Matching. Okay. okay, hold on, but let me show you because what I found seems to be an issue is that it's not taking the whole picture to kind of recognize what's happening. So let's Just see if that works. Taking part of the label. Do do do. Can we find this kombucha oh. online? No. What if Strange. what if we put up the recognizable Google? Oh, Pixel phone? okay. Yeah, let's do this, and then I'll show you something let's funny if, afterwards. Let's see if maybe Samsung Oopsies. doesn't want you to get a Pixel phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay. Shopping. That was quick. Amazon Basics phone for iPhone 7. Okay. iPhone 6S wallet case, iPhone uh, 6S case, and iPhone uh, 7 Plus case. Uh, I mean, I know some people think the Pixel looks like the iPhone, Nine but that's million wrong. million results on Amazon, and that's what Bixby turned up. Okay, okay, let's take a picture of my Chromebook over here, and actually, we can probably go to the wide shot for this because it's going to be awkward from this angle. Uh, but I want to show you guys the result because I put this in the review 
on iMore. So I'm going to take a picture. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm going to increase. We can we can go okay, back to the yeah. over the shot. Sorry, Brian. Thanks. Uh-huh. Thanks for being so great. <laughs> uh, so there's there's my Chromebook, right? I'm going to go shopping for it. Let's see what they find me online. Apple MacBook Air at 13.3 inch. Apple MacBook. <laughs> Apple MacBook Pro. Wow, Apple 13 the Bixby inch really MacBook. likes the Apple it products. It says Asus <laughs> on the front of the device that, like, right here, you could say it says Asus yeah, on it. Yeah, it says uh, it. Nope, doesn't know it's the Chromebook Flip. It went after the keyboard, and that seems to be all well, it looked at. It's a laptop, so obviously. I it's... can also look up images on Pinterest, by the way. Huh. Look at that. Bixby has oh, wait. a... What? No, that's a MacBook. Just kidding. Yep. Yeah, Bixby, MacBook, has, Bixby has a thing for Apple hardware. Samsung Bixby has a thing for Apple hardware. Well, it's powered apparently. by Pinterest, so maybe Pinterest has a thing for Apple. Well, the other one also. All I know is based on what you've shown, it doesn't seem like it works but it, but it, as advertised, but it is early days, right? Like this is still, oh. I mean, would it be considered oh. beta? This is definitely beta. This is a half baked feature. I mean, the real reason you want to use you want to use Bixby yeah. is not even enabled on here. I'm supposed to be able to talk to it and and it's supposed to be able to edit photos for me and it's supposed to be able to I'm supposed to be able to say Bixby, play the Women of Electronica playlist that I've got on Spotify and I'll go, "All right." I mean, the challenge that Samsung faces here, and I think we talked about this last week when we've heard that Bixby Voice wouldn't be on there, is that people are going to get this phone, they're going to try Bixby out and make a snap decision based on how not good it performs for them, or maybe it performs good for them, but I mean, based on what you're seeing here, if I had played around with this for 10 minutes, like my mind would probably already be made up and be like, oh God, I, okay, I'm never using that. And I would never even experience the voice. So of course I would do I would do that because I work at Twit and you would do that, you know, we would do that because this is part of our jobs. But the average person might do that once and decide, okay, this doesn't work for me and never turn it on again. Well, maybe. I think about how many people still use Siri, even though Yeah. Siri's been kind of I suppose fluctuating and in features. Can you can you do assistant on here? Yes, you can. So I can hold down the home button. So, you, so you have your Hi, option your to Google do something assistant. else. So like, well, I want if you got I the can other. help you. What can you do? So what can know. you do that the Galaxy S8 can't? Ooh. <laughs> well, Six that's things. a life hacker Australia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, Google, you need <laughs> to get on that. Hang on, ask it what a Whopper is. Well, <laughs> what is a Whopper? No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, it's a thing that is extremely or unusually large. That's Ron. why they had to ask oh, what is a Whopper is. burger. Uh, yeah. So camera, mm-hmm. camera. That's a thing I know we want to talk about, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Uh, so here's the camera app. Improved sensor inside. Uh, improved sensor. So here's what I can tell you about the sensor. It's a 12 megapixel dual pixel uh, Sony I am Mech sensor, and it's got an aperture of uh, f over 1.7 and uh, 1.4 micron pixels with optical image stabilization. The front camera is an 8 megapixel camera with autofocus, and of course, you know what though? That's not even the biggest feature of this though, because well, I have to say first of all, this camera is great. It's great. It's just as vibrant as the last two Samsung devices that you were using, maybe even a little bit more refined this time around. Of course, you still get really, really saturated and contrasted images from time to time, especially if you're taking photos outside in a bright day. Low light is phenomenal. I'm just taking pictures of Jason's <laughs> rings. You. Yes. Um, ooh, you know what we'll do Embrace while we're here talking about this? I'm going to do a selective focus picture so that like we can, do, we can get a little bokeh. Muscles. Stand still. We need oh. to do a bokeh. Oh. It's going to do a bokeh, the selective focus, which is basically uh, the wannabe portrait mode. Oh, is that, the, is that the bokeh? Kind of, yeah. You can edit it. Uh, this has been actually on a couple of Samsung phones already, so it's not right. brand new. I just, people don't really talk about it existing, so I'm talking about it. Um, also, what is really great about the camera are the face masks. Oh, yeah, that's right. So it has like... So it has built-in face masks and... Fil- filter masks fil- things. Face masks. Okay. They're face that's masks. That's what they're called. Okay. Yeah, that's what they're called. Okay. I think 
I wonder, actually, I haven't checked on whether or not Snapchat filters is patented. But anyway. Um, but they are really masks. So that, yeah, so that makes so sense. So what I'm going to do, I don't know how to show this. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. So two things to note. First of all, there are face masks. Okay. Second of all, oh, I have this on selective focus. That's why it's not working. Second of all, there is a skin tone mode, so I can make <gasps> your skin look really nice. Beauty face. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a beauty face. Sorry. Uh, let's see. <laughs> now I'm gonna give you a mask of sorts. I'm wondering what I should give you. There's a lot of them on here, by the way. So, th just upon arrival, <laughs> there's a lot of them to use. Ooh, let's make you look like Breaking Bad. Okay. So take the picture. Uh, okay, so if you open your mouth, it'll do an effect. OMG. Okay. And is it recording? Oops. Oops. All right. Oh, it's okay. I, I, I took saw a picture it. anyway. Okay. I'm <laughs> singing favorite, but... in the rain. Okay. <laughs> so, augmented reality face masks. All right. They're, you know. That's fun for. They're silly. A little and bit of time. They, well, are they though? I don't know. I mean,. I mean, are they okay? So you are a Snapchat so user. <laughs> it does, uh, does, this how, does how do not translate. So first of all, these won't translate to Snapchat because Snapchat's import native import functionality is just atrocious. Uh, but they will work really well on Instagram. Oh, see, even when but I look the at the quality it of them, like, are they as good as as like the filters that you get on? Yeah, they're Snapchat? pretty good. They yeah. actually, I found. I wonder if it's because of the facial recognition technology that it's just better at tracking my face than hmm. Snapchats are. Okay. Yeah, good but thing. now the phone is all hot. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's um, hot like, like Hansel. What, is, Hansel what does that mean? <laughs> it's warm because <laughs> I'm Samsung used, phone look, gets so hot. What does that mean? We're at eighty eight percent, by the way. We started at this, I think, at like ninety three percent. Okay. Or wow. something. Wow. wow. It's 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 yeah, the inf it's trickling off the edge. That battery is just trickling off. We'll have to off rewind to see display. when it starts, but Anyway, right. there's a couple more things I'm still Can exploring. Yeah, yeah, please, please Can do. I paw at it there's a, a couple bit? more How's... things I'm still exploring about the camera, which is why I'm kind of, you know, being a little brief at the moment because it's just been a chaotic couple of days. Uh, how but, how hot how hot is it, Jason? I mean, it's, it's warm. warm. It's it's not hot. It's warm. It's, it's kind of it's, it's not it's not warm, it's though. it's not going to blow up. I hope not. I'm holding. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not holding a blowing up phone. Uh, it doesn't feel like it. Definitely Whoa, feels there super. It is. Oh, jeez. Oh, definitely <laughs> feels super. Like the the contours of it are really nice. Look at the it feels buttons. really nice. Look at the buttons, like how they're black and how they just sort of fade into the chassis. It's kind of like you know when you see black rims on like a black car. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. Flo, Flo, Flo just showed her her East Bay attitude. Right yes, there. I did. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna see if I had this phone, would I automatically know? Where She's got a San Francisco phone, but an East Bay. How'd you do Sorry. that? I swipe down, swipe up, swipe. Wait a down, minute! It up, reads your fingerprint down. too. Yeah. Oh. Well, it does. I'm not unlocking it. It's already unlocked, oh, so duh. I can use I it guess, for, for duh, motion. That makes sense. So you guys have a little spent, by the way. <laughs> I mean, so this is my first time actually holding the device, and I can absolutely see how easy it is to think you're on the fingerprint reader and you're on the, yeah. the camera. Yeah. Not to mention. A lot of times I hold my phone like this, like with a finger down yes. there. Why? Because I drop my phone all the time. That makes this actually very hard yes. to reach. And if you've got the bigger one, that's going to be an even bigger, bigger issue. Oh, absolutely. Up there. It is. Whereas on, you know, the phones where it's centered, it's really easy to just bend your, bend your finger and tap the middle and boom, you're in. Um, so I could see that being a, a real big annoyance, actually. Yeah, you'll want to set up smart lock uh, if you're going to be driving with this thing, because the last thing you want to do is try to unlock it while you're driving with the fingerprint scanner where it yeah. is because mm. I tried driving with it last week without that and smart not, unlock. And not to mention, I, I mean, so the home button is the physical thing I push down. I really like how that feels, mm -hmm. but it, there is something to be said for the home button also having the fingerprint reader embedded into it because when you pick it up with the screen off state, it would be really nice to do that the way you have been with other Samsung devices and boom, I'm in. Instead, that home button that does wake it up really does little except take me to lock screen and then I have to also then do that I don't know on the back maybe that's a small complaint but uh, but I'm excited to get mine uh, it's exciting around. it's exciting it's Feels it's nice. a good phone um, unfortunately we didn't get decks in time for right. the review period but you know that's coming up I'm gonna be comparing it 
to the Pixel, and I haven't decided if I want to go with last year's phone or maybe comparing it with the G6 as far as camera camera capabilities. Mm -hmm. I just you just need a little time with it out in the field to really yeah, you know sure. see how it is and battery life as well. But I mean. We'll update you in time. These are, you're holding two, the two big phones of the year right now, which is the Pixel and the Galaxy S8. But I'm not holding the biggest, or I'm not holding the bigger of right. Samsung's big phones. Really curious to see how that but stacks think, up in size compared to the Pixel XL because this is the Pixel XL and they're almost the same size. 